Ladies and gentlemen, friends and strangers, welcome to this webinar. I am, I can't tell you enough how excited I am to finally be here. I've been waiting for this for days. Now we are here. I really look forward to getting to know all of you. And I also realized that it might be some kind of confusion with the time zones and stuff. So sorry about that. But now we're here, now we're live. So um, yeah, welcome. Una already said hello, he's from Norway, that's great. Um, I would love if you could be as active as possible in the chat. It gives me so much energy. It gives all the others a lot of energy. Um, and I'm gonna ask you a few questions just to get us going while others kind of join in here. So, so please be as active as possible in the chat. I'm not investing my time in you. Please invest some time in going deep into this with me. That would be awesome. So Ingerlis is here from Oslo as well. Stian from Norway. That's cool. Okay. So people, let me know where you are from. So where in this world? As Celia, I cannot see you. So don't freak out. You can see me, but I can't see you. All right. Here is uh, Ryan there from Amsterdam. Duncan from the Netherlands. Eileen from Trondheim, Tom Netherlands, Netherlands representing hard, Nina from Netherlands, hello, Ulla Martin. Wow, a lot of people are joining, that's really cool. Ulf, uh, Rotterdam, Holland, holy shit, Norway, Norway, uh, Runa, Katrina, Tommy, that's really cool, Ingrid from the Netherlands. So we got Texas, we got Texas, that's cool. So we got Texas, we got Netherlands, we got Norway. That is really cool, guys. And that is really, really cool. Stockholm, okay, so we've got Sweden as well. That's great. So we are representing here. Jonas from Oslo. Celia doesn't see anything. So sorry about that, Celia. You need to maybe refresh your browser. Can everyone see me? Can you hear me? Am I here? Are you in my living room right now? Eric from the Netherlands with the caps lock. Uh, Silly from Africa. Okay, I, I'm, I somehow doubt that, Silly, but, but still. Nermia from Norway. Yes, everyone can see me. Amsterdam. Oh, man, this is so cool. Technology is working. That's really awesome. Cool. Alexandra, nice to meet you. Helen from Tromsø. Carolyn can see me. That is great. All right. I got this really fancy new um, like radio microphone, so I'm really excited about that. It's off, says Eric. Okay, don't, 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 don't do this. Celia, I'm sorry. Try to refresh your browser if you can't see me. Okay. Um, okay, I'm going to just give it a few more seconds. So just let me know maybe where you're sitting. Are you still at the office? Are you home in your living room? Are you hiding in your closet? Where are you actually... Um, where are you actually situated right now? So I know which country, or I can't remember everyone's country, but I know the countries we're in, but are we kitchen people? Are we bedroom people? Are we living room people? Are we office people? Just let me know. Home office, home, home office. Um, okay, so we've got home offices. You used it in the webinar, the great stuff. Thank you, Stian. Um, at home, living room, couch. Couch is good. Living room, home office, living room. Um, drinking great coffee. That's great. I'm drinking great water, Norwegian water, the best so far. Kitchen until pizza is ready. Wow. What kind of pizza are you having? Um, okay. That is great. Okay. So uh, home at the only side room, my children's room. What the? Are, are they sleeping, Anne, or what? Shout out from the living room. Mark is watching this while trying to get my kids to bed. Will that work? I don't know. Okay. Uh, yeah, product placement. Yeah, Imsa should totally pay me for for, for uh, plugging their amazing water. It's actually not. It's it's tap water on a bottle of Imsa. So I'm not sure if it actually counts, but who knows? Okay, I'm getting I'm getting way ahead of myself. Okay, so I'm gonna try to share my screen now. Okay, with you guys and. Uh, please let me know immediately you can see my screen because some, sometimes this bugs a little bit. So again, so please 
Carolina Hernal. <laughs> That's great. I haven't seen you in a while. Kristen, in my car, just listening. Oh, wow. Do, Kristen, don't, don't drive and watch me. So pull aside and just sit there for one hour, okay? Okay. Um, going in. Can anyone see my screen? So if you can see my screen, let me know what is on the screen right now. Just let me know so I know the technical stuff is working. So you should not see me anymore, but you should see my screen. Okay, okay. See your screen, see your screen. Great, 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 great. Okay, so that's that's obviously working as well. Uh, you can you can actually see me because I have this great Indian artist who actually drawed me for a, a while ago. Um, Blue with a cartoon of you. Okay, gets great, 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 great. I love how active you guys are. Super bonus points. Super super bonus points. Very good. Drawing and stuff. Yes, that is that is correct. That is correct. Um, okay, cool. Then I think I'm just gonna jump into this with you. And again, thank you so much for taking the time to be here and share this with me. Um, let's just start with today's goal. So I have two goals. One, if you're if you have advertised before, if you advertised before, I my goal is to show you you can get better results with the same spend. So with the same amount of money, I'm going to show you how to get better results. So that is my goal to you if you ever used ads. If you haven't used ads, I want to inspire you to try, see, um, and, and learn the amazing opportunities that lies within Facebook uh, advertising and to help you get started. Okay. So these are my two goals. Does these goals um, sound good to you? Are you, are you in? Do you, do you feel that this can reflect your expectations of this? Ina, I will send out the presentation afterwards. Who's that ugly history teacher? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, cool. So people are on board. Just Shantai, Ina says yes. Dian says yes. Good. Nina, perfect. Runa, yes. Cool. Okay. So we are, we're, we're down with the goals. Okay. So we're in sync. That's good. So far, so good. Moving on. There will be gifts. I will send out these slides plus my social media publishing plan after the webinar if and only if you stick around until the end, okay? So there's this magic software in Webinar Jam who will actually figure out if you stay the whole while or, or doesn't. So I won't send out gifts to people who cheat, only to people who stay for the whole webinar. So we have a lot of fun together. Also, I have one really, really cool opportunity I've been working um, on for almost two months now that are ready, and I'm so excited to talk about it as well. But let's not get ahead of each other. Okay. Um, yes, if the connection falls out, uh, Empire, you will still just refresh, and you'll you'll probably you'll probably be fine. Okay, I have a question. Um, I want to get to know you, so let me know in the chat. Do you have any experience running Facebook ads? So have you ever used Facebook ads before? It's just a yes or no question. I'm going to drink some water. Holy crap, that's a lot of yeses. I have a... Runa says no, Ulf said little, Eric says yes, Charlotte says no, Aline says yes, Grace, yes, lots of experience, lots of experience, a lot of yes, I would say maybe 60, 70% yeses, and then a few no's. Business manager and fan booster, fan booster, that's cool. Uh, okay, not, uh, okay, great, Petra says yes, Kirsten says yes, Peter says yes, quite a lot. Okay, so everyone who have ever tried Facebook advertising, from a, a scale from one to one to <laughs> from one to uh, that should be ten, 
uh, sorry again this is this is how we rock it live people from one to ten how successful are you in your Facebook ads marketing today <laughs> from from one to zero <laughs> thank you. yes yes sorry everyone everyone's laughing at me that's great okay so Ulf says nine that's 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 amazing um eight says Uda, six five says four says seven five five seven 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 six seven four four zero on Ola. Okay, so five plus is what I'm reading, which is good. I think that's great because I think you're gonna get super, super much value out of this um if you're at that level. Um I myself I've been working with Facebook advertising since it launched. I'm having I'm having so much fun experimenting with it, um, but again, also sometimes it feels really painful. So I just want to to ask you if you can relate to any of the pains I've felt over the years. So have you ever felt like like this? Have you ever felt frustrated by just trying out the advertising platform, but you didn't actually see any effect? So you spent a few maybe hundred dollars or hundred euros on it and you saw no effect well i know i in the start i had a lot of tries like this nina says oh yes yeah Chantal, yes that's cool okay good and um have you ever felt that you don't have control over how much it costs per sale or conversion so you don't see the return on investment you actually don't you don't know if you actually made money or not so elena what do you mean by effect effect is well you're putting on facebook advertising for a reason um, hopefully to make more money to make more sales and the effect would then be uh, or the no effect would then be nothing happens it's just crickets okay cool people can relate to this that's that's great um have you ever felt that it's 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 hard to know if it's working or not and maybe felt it takes up too much time and hard to kind of prioritize yeah 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 that's that's great just gonna click the button here Why are you, what? okay so and and maybe you don't really get what to do and felt like you never cracked the code. I spent so many hours, so much time cracking the code and actually just figuring out how this, this thing, this amazing, super effective thing really works. Right. But I've spent so many hours of pain. Well, if you felt like this and if, if you feel like this, I actually have good news for you. Because I'm going to teach you what it takes to get you from where you are today to where you want to be. I'm going to give you all the little tips and tricks that I've spent so many hours figuring out. And I'm going to give it to you for free today. And Tom, you're completely right. Start with implementing a Facebook pixel. I'm going to talk about that uh, later on. Okay, so just super quick. So my name is Thomas and why, where the hell am I talking to you? Right? So, well, first of all, I'm the chief marketing officer at something called United influencers. We work with a lot of different content creators, but we also do a lot of Facebook advertising and paid advertising all over. Um, and I've been working with this since, since I was really, really young. So I have over 15 years of, of experience within digital marketing and I worked with campaigns and generated over 150 million euros in sale over the years um, with different clients and, and my own projects. And I set a goal for 2017 and, and, and that is, I want to teach 500 marketers or entrepreneurs or, or whatever you want to call yourself, how to succeed with Facebook advertising. So that's my goal. That is why I'm having this webinar right now. And that's why I'm communicating to you right now. And over the years, I've learned from, from so many amazing, cool people. I've spent so much time um, traveling, talking, 
interviewing, discussing how digital marketing works, how to build tribes, how to build audiences, how to uh, make sure you get the most out of, of, uh, of every marketing dollar. Um, and I had a lot of fun with it. <laughs> yes, Gary. Yeah, big Gary fan. Love Gary. Um, and over the years, I've been blessed with really cool people uh, working closely with them, and they have a lot of nice things to say uh, about what I do. I'm really passionate about what I what I do. I'm really passionate about creating results for the customers, and I'm really passionate about just going really deep and just figuring out the right methods and the right tactics at any given time to just over deliver um, with the customers I work with. So, so this is just one of the, some of the some of the words, man. Uh, but I, I, I want to tell you the day I fell in love with Facebook advertising. Okay, so um, I started out just doing what you today would call content marketing, um, and uh, I spent a lot of time on my websites. Spent a lot of time writing amazing content. Um, but it was hard to really generate any results. The few people who landed on my pages, they loved it. And a, a lot of them converted into customers or into jobs and opportunities, but it was really hard to, to generate the right relevant traffic. And I tried different things. I tried Google AdWords that kind of works. I tried banner advertising that, that you should never try or never do, uh, because it's a waste of time and waste of money. Um, but it wasn't really until I tried Facebook advertising and understood how to, how to target people the right way, understanding that I could laser focus on just a few people and just put a really clear message in their feeds. And then being able to measure what they're actually doing after they click in the link. Do they actually, um, sign up for the thing I want them to sign up for? Do they actually buy my products? Do they buy my customers' products? So I started uh, just experimenting for myself around Facebook advertising. And and I was holding a conference, this is many years ago, uh, and I, I was having trouble reaching the right amount of people. And I spent all night just reading up on this and put in like the real first serious campaign. And within just a few days, I've, I've totally filled the conference and I only paid like, I think it was like, it was, this was really early days. I think I paid like one or two euros to sell a ticket to a few hundred euros. So it was like, it was crazy. And that was the day I realized that I was going to stop with what I call hope marketing. Okay. So what is, what is hope marketing? Well, hope marketing is when you just put things out there and hope that things will work. Okay. So hoping people will find your content, hopefully people will find your, your website or your, your store. Um, and it doesn't really work, but what does work is actually using Facebook advertising the right way. Uh, Alina, was it an event ad or do you use the content? You use, yes, Elena, I used conversion ads. So almost all the different, uh, all my campaigns, I would say like 70% of all the campaigns I'm running at any given time is conversion posts. And I'm gonna go get back to that and go, we're gonna go, we're gonna go more nerdy uh, real soon on, on that specific topic. But yes, it was conversion posts in, in link posts. Um, yeah. Okay. So let's, let's dive into this. Are you guys still with me by the way? You're, you're here. Great. Okay. So let's just get this straight. I've, I've tried every single traffic source you can get on the internet right now. Okay. So I, I've tried, I tried it all. I tried weird shit just to kind of understand how to generate traffic in the right specific way. Um, and Facebook is the most powerful one. It's the one that gives the best return of investment. And it's also the, the most underpriced, uh, 
traffic there is right now. And it's important for brands to understand that they need to get on this train really fast because um, the way Facebook pricing works, it's only going to get more and more expensive. So you need to get on this now and start using it, experimenting it, so that when the prices will continue to go up and more and more advertisers will go on the platform, you have a head start on of, of everyone. I think that's just extremely important to, to understand and to realize. Um, and there's really three ways you can advertise on, on Facebook. Um, I'm not going to go like super uh, into the different ones. Most people use Boost Post or Ads Manager. I am a hardcore power editor guy. And although Ads Manager and Power Editor are getting more and more similar, there's no better, more effective way to run and set up amazing, complicated, um, powerful campaigns in Facebook than via Power Editor. So, so I can hear all your different arguments on how to use the Ad Manager or anything like that. If you're serious about Facebook advertising, you're going to use the Power Editor. And, um, and, and for the guys who haven't still tried um, Facebook, I'm just gonna put a little link in the chat that gives you, that helps you get started. Uh, Stian said, what I don't like with Paradox is it seems like the refresh rates on the results are really slow. So Stian, that's, that's actually right. So I usually, when I optimize the campaigns, I, I work in Ads Manager and I turn things on and off based on the Ads Manager data, not the Paradox data. So I agree on that. Um, but too many companies are still too focused on, on getting likes on their pages. And, and likes is freaking worthless. You can't eat likes for breakfast, right? You need to generate um, some kind of revenue. And you do that by reaching the right people. So the, the secret to succeeding on Facebook is, is really to be really, really targeted with your ads and being able to have different messages to different kinds of people at different t stages of their customer journey in their funnel. So your post is not for everyone. And when you use Power Editor, you can use something called dark post or unpublished posts. That means that it doesn't get published on your page. It will only be visible for the, the specific people that you target. So for example, when I use Facebook advertising, I always have different advertisement for women versus men or young versus old, right? Or if I'm advertising in three different countries at the same time, I use the local language of each country when I advertise, right? So you need to just realize it's not for everyone, it's for a specific target group. You need to be very specific on how you target things. It doesn't need to cost a lot of money. Okay. I start all my campaigns with just one euro a day. So the reason I'm doing this is, is first of all, when fi Facebook are trying to uh, deliver the results you're asking for, if you start out with a very low budget, you will actually then find cheaper leads that converts better than if you go 100 or 200 or 300 euros a day immediately. So I always start slow and then I start to gradually build up the daily budget. When I see things are working, I just start building and building and building on top of that. So campaigns that I have that, that are running on 2,500 euros a day started as $1 and one euro a day ad sets. Okay? So it doesn't need to be expensive, but to succeed, you need to measure your results, okay? You need to find out what's working and what's not working. And um, the first thing I recommend everyone doing, and if you haven't done this, you should, you should just 
you should just do this immediately after the webinar is to install something called the Facebook pixel. And the Facebook pixel is, is a little code you paste in your, your, uh, your website that can track different things for you. And Marcus, it's a, do a euro a day on each ad set. Um, and a pixel, a pixel can do a few things. First of all, it can track your conversions and conversion could be somebody signing up for a form, buying your product uh, or downloading something um, or just them giving your email. But the pixel then calls back to Facebook and tells you this specific advertising uh, advertisement, this ad gave this result. So you will then start to see very quickly which ads are actually the cheapest ones to achieve the results that you're doing. Um, and via the Facebook pixel, the more data you feed it, and if you have, you need to have at least 15 conversions a week to be able to use the Facebook pixel optimization in a good way. Okay, so, um, the optimization would then basically just see, okay, so these different people actually converted on Thomas's goal. So I'm going to target more people that look like these people to make sure that it, it keeps on getting better and better results. Okay, makes sense? And also the third thing the Facebook Pixel can do is it does uh, remarketing. So remarketing is basically anyone who visited your website or specific pages on your website or did specific things, you can then put them in something called an audience, a custom audience, and then target specific ads to them. So the Facebook pixel is the most powerful and the most important thing you are, you need to use to succeed on Facebook. Okay, I see quite a, okay, Elena says, why 50 conversions per week? So I said 15, not 50, Elena. And the whole point is that you need to feed Facebook the positive feedback of what's working and not for the optimization part to be able to work as good as possible. So if you don't have more than 15 conversions or sales, for example, I will then go one up. So I will then maybe do for people downloading your lead magnet or leaving your, their email address, then that would be what Facebook would optimize for instead. Uh, Tom, yes, uh, and there's like an urban legend that you need at least 20 conversions daily. Uh, I've had a lot of talks with Facebook on this and it's actually 15 a week, but the truth is the more conversions you, you get, the better the optimization gets. So in, in some cases, I actually start with just going, I want to reach everyone in Norway and Facebook will then figure out who's the best one to target within that because it's getting so good at, at, at guessing who might convert next. Um, okay, so when the pixel in place, you need to have the right targeting and targeting is, is done in something uh, called ad sets. Um, and the ad sets could be a few different things. It could be what Facebook called the core audience. So that's the data that Facebook has uh, of you. And Facebook got a lot of data on you. Okay, so every website with a like button calls back to Facebook with the contents of that site and what you did and what you watched and how your mouse reacted, um, who you're watching on Instagram, who you're talking to on WhatsApp, who you do, what, what you're doing on the on the Facebook app, Facebook knows a shitload of things about you. Um, so that's a core audience, and you have something called the custom audience, and the custom audience is basically your data. So that could be um, phone numbers that you have from your customers. It could be email addresses you have from your customers, and actually also be just names or addresses and you upload this into Facebook and Facebook will then try to find those specific people and put into an audience you can target. So I have, uh, so for example, most of you guys, after you sign up for the webinar, have probably seen videos from me in your Facebook feed, right? Just, it just happened to be there. And, and that is me 
using my data, the retargeting pixel, to then target you and, and give you content to warm you up to this specific webinar. Okay, so that's custom audiences. And the third type of targeting is something called lookalikes. And lookalikes is also quite magical because it then takes your data and creates kind of a mirror person of that, tries to find similar people who are then also likely to, for example, convert. So on things, I when I start working on customer and, and they're trying to sell something on their website, their e-commerce site or something like that, the first thing I'm doing is creating a lookalike audience of the customers. So then the targeting would be, I want to target people who look like the people who already bought from me, right? Makes sense? It's, it's a great way of doing it. So it's, so it's the core audience, it's the custom audience, and it's the lookalike audiences. That is the different types of targeting on Facebook. And what you're able to do through then the magic of everything is you can then include and exclude data if you want to. So for example, in this example, I'm using some Facebook core audience data. I'm looking at using the lookalike audience data, and then I'm excluding all my, for example, customer data. So I want people who just bought specific products to see this, but not people who bought this product or not people who visited this website or not people who are in this end age range. And then you can see, you can start to get really, really, really targeted on, on this stuff. So, so when you found the right people, you also need the right message. Okay. And you need to target the right message to the right people. And that is done um, on a level like this. So you can actually have different type of ads to different ad sets. So for example, I would then communicate differently to my customer list than I would do to the core audience, for example. Or I would um, communicate extremely differently with people who just visited my website than just a random customer that hasn't. So you're actually able to then have different variations of advertisement in different ad sets that creates that magic. Um, and also I do on, on all my campaigns in every ad set, I have at least three ads going and I'm AB testing and AB testing is basically, let's see, I, I, in one picture, I'm wearing a blue t-shirt in the other picture, I'm wearing a green t-shirt and there will actually be a price difference between the blue and the red, no, the blue and the green. Okay, so I'm constantly testing what is actually converting the best. And every time I hit over 20 conversions on one of the ads, I then turn off the one who performs the worst and I duplicate the one who performs the best and I just tweak it a little bit and then I keep on testing. And in that way, I usually am able to actually uh, reduce the cost with almost 50% if somebody haven't been A-B testing before. So if you have one ad set or 10 ad sets and just one ad in every ad set, you're missing out, you're wasting a shitload of energy and a shitload of monies. Elena, what do you usually A-B test, picture or copy? I start with A-B testing the picture, Elena. And when I've kind of figured out the best picture, I then do uh, the text above the picture and then do the headline. And then at last I do the description. Um, it's usually the image that gives the best, uh, kind of the biggest difference there. Uh, Martin, the only thing I've learned uh, by A-B testing a lot is that I, I suck at guessing what will convert best and I suck at kind of predicting things. Um, so, so I don't have any kind of tips for that. Okay, um, so just key takeaways so far. And are you guys enjoying yourself? Are you learning something? Have you having a good time? Let me know. Okay, so some key takeaways. People I haven't found Nina says yes, that's good, that's good. Helen says yes, cool, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, cool. Awesome. People are enjoying stuff. I love that. I love that. Okay. T key takeaways so far. I got more for you guys. So stay on. Um, 
Facebook is the best place to generate traffic. It's not about likes, but about reaching the right people. And a euro a day is enough to get you started. You need to measure via the Facebook pixel. You need to choose the right targeting with the right message to the right people. And A-B testing is something you should always do for the rest of your freaking life. And it will save you so much money. Okay. Um, Evan asked, will you get enough data with only $1 a day for an ad set? Well, Evan, you will, you will, it probably take a few hours or a few days, depending on what you're selling, what you're testing. Um, but the whole point of having a low daily budget to start with is that Facebook is really good at figuring out what, what works and what doesn't. And then you can start to scale from that. Okay. Um, I want to go deep with you guys right now, or actually high up, but just just understand uh, to go further on, on why I think different things are working and not working. Um, I just want to talk about the purpose of marketing. So what is the purpose of marketing? Well, the whole point of doing this marketing thing, the whole point of spending money as a business is to reduce the cost of a sale with building trust in a relationship. So the whole point of doing marketing is to get cheaper customers, right? And the best way to get cheaper customers is to make them trust you and make them like you. So marketing is basically building relationships. It's dating before you marry and it's, it's giving more than you take. So to create advertisement that actually works, you need to think about how you can earn the right to sell to that specific market, okay? And you do this, um, first of all, the stronger relationship, the less cost per sale. And you do this by creating something called light feathered interactions. So again, I mentioned earlier that most of you have probably seen my videos on Facebook after you sign up for the webinar, and that is called a light feather interaction. It's it's me just reminding you that I exist, and not by saying hi, buy my stuff, buy my product, body, body, body. It's more hi, this is some valuable content I created for you to you to enjoy, uh, free of charge. Okay, so that's a light feather interactions, and I've learned over the years that this uh, relationship building creates more business under the whole customer lifetime, okay? And knowing this, you need to understand that it's, it's really three different ways of advertising on Facebook. First of all, you should always be um, um, advertising to your cold traffic, your cold audience. And a cold audience is somebody who has no clue whatsoever uh, who you are and what you represent. And they're just browsing and you're targeting them and they then jump into your funnel. Okay, so that's a cold traffic. You should also um, communicate to your warm audience in a different campaign. And um, I would, for example, say all you guys right now are warm. Okay, so you've been spending now a good half an hour staring at my face um, and we have a relationship. So I would communicate and advertise differently to you than I would do to my cold traffic. And lastly, you have your hot traffic. That's your customers. You should also different, uh, have different ways of communicating to them. So all these are three different ways to sell and three different funnels and three different methods to generate revenue. So you should always think about that um, when you are creating campaigns, creating communication around this, okay? Does this make sense to you? Do you understand what I'm trying to say? I get, yep, 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 cool. Stian is, is on board, Ola is on board. Teresa, great, okay. Awesome, um, and then how do you separate the cold audience from the warm one? That is with targeting, Elena, and I have different campaigns for then different type of audiences. I have a campaign for cold, I have a campaign for warm, and I have a campaign for hot.
Unit Andre. Yes, this is live webinar. <laughs> it is. Okay. So, with all this on board, I'm going to finish things off with 10 things that I would do if I were you. Okay? So, this is 10 things that I think you should be doing if you're not already doing it. So first of all, number one thing I get all my customers to do is to upload your customer data to Facebook. Upload emails and phone numbers so you can create custom audiences and you can uh, both include and exclude your customers in your database. Okay, so that is the, the first thing I would recommend you doing. Second thing you should do is to install the Facebook pixel on your website. And you should do it now. You should you should just uh, you should just do it like this this instant. And um, number three, you should create what I call a remarketing campaign that is always on. So for everyone who visits my website or interacts in my page, I then have a remarketing campaign based if they're cold, warm, or hot that they see, see for the next four days. It, it's something I don't spend a lot of money on every day uh, on a daily basis, but it's always there communicating and reminding people and creating that what I call that light feathered interactions, okay? Number four, um, I would have different type of ads based on the behavior of your site and your, your own data. So. For example, if a customer have visited your website and also visited your contact page, you could be much more aggress aggressive in getting them back to sign up to contact you. So again, different behaviors is, is different ways of communicating to people. Um, number five, I would make sure you have what I call value content. So that's content that's not asking for anything. It's just giving advice away for free. That's a, a, every Sunday I, I send out a, a free video and some free advice to my email list. And then I post it on my Facebook page. And then I use that as an always on campaign to send to both my, my warm and hot uh, uh, audience. Number six, remember, always start with a dollar a day. Okay, so start with that because that creates the cheapest results and is the best way to scale. And don't scale too fast. Okay, try to just go um, from one to 10 and from 10 to 20 and 20 to 30 and just scale that way. Number seven, create conversion campaigns for sales, for lead magnets or contacts forms. So create conversion campaigns to get people to do what you want to do. Uh, Grace, do you measure conversions for your value content campaigns? No, I don't. Uh, in my value content campaigns, I measure uh, engagement. Um, and the engagement is, is clicks, likes, comments, shares. Uh, and then I use uh, those um, engagements to retarget my conversion campaigns to uh, the people who actually interacted in the value content. Number eight, always A-B test everything and always have three variations of the advertisement live. It's the single most best thing you can do. And I realized I just said that four times. So four things is the single best you can do, but you get, you get my points. Number nine, video. It matters a lot. It matters so much. And you should experiment with both pre-made and live. Everything posted what's called natively on Facebook. Elena says, why three and not two? Well, I test three ads at every given time so that I can have one uh, who's a winner, one that's an up and coming and one's the loser. And then it's easier to kind of chunk through it. So that's that's the way I like to do it. And number 10, you should start to test messenger ads. Messenger ads is an amazingly powerful way 
of getting people on there. Many of you people maybe have actually signed up through my messenger ads. Um, through messenger ads, you're able to send people messages both when they click the ad and make them do certain things, but also you can broadcast and send them um, messages afterwards. So it's almost like an email newsletter. Has anyone of you get uh, got um, 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 a messenger uh, broadcast from me? Yes, ManyChat Stian is the best thing. The best. <laughs> I felt like Trump right there. It's the best. Um, yes. And just a bonus thing I think you should consider is I use a marketing method called Jab Jab Method. And the jab jab method is basically a way where imagine a funnel where on top of the funnel, I spend a lot of time giving them a lot of value content and I don't start to sell them anything or ask them to do anything um, before they've done certain things. They engage certain ways. They've seen um, like 75% of a video, for example, so you're actually able to warm them up before you uh, you sell to them. So give them a lot of value before you do anything else. I think that's also important to remember. So my just super quick. So my my method, I then use an advertisement to sell you to some value content. Then instead of trying to sell you something on the second one, I then create a new advertisement to to send you to a. Uh, a second value content, I get you to sign up for your, for your email and then send you more stories that gradually translate into a sales funnel. So again, um, I'm using, using time to, to build up a trust and a relationship because that is what matters. You don't want traffic. You don't traffic around. You want an audience that actually pays attention to you. Um, and likes you because the way you communicate and the way um, the way you are, the, the the value you give. Okay, so I think that's really important. Okay, so soon I'm gonna send out my little gift to you. Remember, you need to stay just on for a little while. I know that we we gone through a lot of cool stuff. We're almost done. You can start asking questions now. I'll, I'll try to answer as many uh, as possible. Okay. Um, so just start that. Uh, and I just want to go quickly through my opportunity for you. Okay. So this is an embarrassing picture for me. So this is 20 years ago uh, in 2007. No, nine, 1997. And it was my first computer. It was my first, um, my first um, little flirt with the internet, and I instantly fell in love. And I fell in love with being able to communicate with people, being able to create movements, being able to teach people. And ten years later, this picture was one of the was on the biggest business newspaper in Norway. I created a, a big company that helped over ten thousand bloggers to create their blog and to start communicating this. And still today, I'm working with with sharing and in engaging and, and trying to help more people succeed and more people grow. And every time I have a webinar talking about new stuff, I get this email or this message or this text or whatever. Love your webinar. I wish you could help us succeed with our advertising or with our marketing or, or anything like that. So a few months back, I or actually almost like six months ago, I created a Facebook course in Norwegian and we got over a thousand people who signed up for this and had great value of this specific course. Um, and because my audience now is mainly outside Norway, I decided to upgrade and tweak and actually build upon this. And I created a Facebook advertising course. And it's a course that's uh, 
updated monthly with new tips and tricks that I learn. And when Facebook changes, also this course will change. It's a, a living and breathing course you will get access to. So it's, it's basically a recipe that will teach you all you need to know about your Facebook advertising. It's step-by-step -step lessons where I where I, I fill my screen and I show you where to push the buttons and do the things. And it's put into my, my very simple to understand method designed for you reaching your goals. And you can learn things like my perfect advertising setup, how to set up the pixels and the custom audiences, how to do A-B testing, my bulletproof campaign setup, how I optimize and report on things. And also I just added the, the messenger ads uh, thing. So how, how do you use uh, messenger ads? It's made mainly for people who have their own businesses or do marketing, but also marketing students who want to kind of learn. And this is just a quick screenshot of, of the course and how it will look. Um, you will also get a 14 day money back guarantee if you uh, have any doubt. Okay, so I see a lot of people ask about the price. So I wanna keep this as affordable as possible. So I decided that I will, I'm gonna sell this for 179 euros. So there should be a pop-up box now just popping up. You can also go to jabjabacademy.com slash winning um, and you can get this special price. So I think it's very for affordable. Um, it's hours of video. You'll get lots and lots and lots of value from it. Um, and if 179 euros is too much for one payment, you can also do two payments of 100 euros instead. And because you're awesome and you are on this webinar right now, I have a bonus for you. I also have a video training and that I sold for 97 euros just a few weeks back that helps you how to create your own Facebook Messenger bot. So it's basically me going through all the tactics, all the things I've learned about the Messenger bot, and you will get that for free if you order now under this webinar. So you will get that as a bonus into your course if you are um, interested. Okay, cool, I'm in, cool price, wow. Crazy low price, <laughs> yes, yeah, I know it's low, but I don't, I don't, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, um, I want it to be affordable. I, I want you guys to be the first one to test this out. I'm probably gonna raise the price within a few days, uh, but right now, as a launch with you, uh, since we're now close friends, we're best friends, I have this super uh, amazing offer for you. So again, uh, you will get the, the, um, the Facebook advertising course, Succeed with Facebook Advertising. It's a monthly updated course that gives you all you need to know about Facebook advertising. And you will also uh, get um, the, um, you will also get then the Messenger bot uh, training. So I will basically just teach you how to, um, um, how to set up your bot, how to use your bot, how to, uh, to get the most out of the bot thing as well. Cool, okay. Um, uh, Martin, why are, your other, why are your price points so low compared to all the other marketers out there who sell their courses for 1997, et cetera? Well, Martin, for first, I think that what they're doing is kind of overpriced. Um, and I make a living uh, with my businesses, not by doing this, but I think it's really fun to create courses. I think it's really fun to have students and help them to succeed. So this is not my kind of main gig. I'm not a, a online course guru dude. I just created uh, um, some few courses now because I think it's really fun. It's really inspiring and I want it to be affordable. I want people that have a dream about starting their own startup or, or, or getting to be marketers or not feeling comfortable with their current skill set in some way to be able to afford this and to do this. So I've actually bought just of course a lot of, of expensive courses um, and I think this is really good and I think it's really good for value for money and I think you'll, you'll 
you won't be disappointed if you if you jump on this. So again, it's 179, uh, and the offer stands and the bonus stands um, as long as I'm basically live now talking to you and asking no um, answering your questions. So so please feel free just to to start uh, asking questions. Um, and also, I see a, a lot of you have already jumped on this, which is really cool. Uh, and I'm really excited to to get started. So I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna switch to my screen so I can uh, actually see you um, because I think that's much nicer. It turns. Hey guys, I'm back again. Cool. So do you guys have any questions regarding Facebook uh, advertisement or the course? Just let me know and I would love to um, uh, answer questions. And I see Stian already enrolled. I see a couple of others already enrolled into the course. So congratulations. Um, Laura, of all the Norwegians who have learned from your training, how many do you know would have major success? Well, I've only been doing that course for six months, but I still get weekly emails from people who said they get amazing results. Okay, so results in their e-commerce sites or also a lot of big brands in Norway. Uh, I have banks as customers. I have uh, big retail chains all invested in this and are using this in their day-to-day. Stian, can you repeat your question, please? Evan, great offer. Are you planning on having an advanced course for pro users? Thanks, Evan. Yeah, um, I think over the over uh, over some time, I would probably have a more advanced course. But right now, um, I'm I'm uh, I'm giving away this for a very fair price, and uh, let's see what happens. Pet Eric, how do you look at the future of Bot? I think it's really exciting right now. I think it's great things are happening. I'm afraid us marketers are going to ruin it before it gets started. Uh, but I've never seen so many good results uh, using a bot uh, anywhere. Martin, knowing what you know, what are the biggest mistakes people make when starting out Facebook ads? And also, what's the mistakes you see more advanced Facebook marketers make? So uh, two things. So first of all, the biggest mistake most people start with is to just do boosting. They don't do any targeting and they don't do any kind of targeted messaging. Pro users, too many people are not using conversion posts. They just use clicks, for example, which is um, just uh, silly. Uh, Grace, you're interested in uh, an advanced course. Okay, that's that's no worries. Send me an email afterwards, and I can just point you in the direction of of uh, of the one I'm. I have a more advanced course on. Ingolise, any experience with why Facebook pixels don't measure conversions when used for Webinar Jam? Ingolise, uh, my pixels are measuring on Webinar Jam like crazy, so I'm not sure uh, it's not uh, a problem I've had. Stia, I have a lot of ads going, and one thing that is kind of sad is that all the organic engagement getting on these are sort of locked to the specific ads. Say I want to share a video as part of value content, how would you do that the best to be able to gather, combine all the organic actions? Well, Stian, I always uh, post the, the value content organically on my page, and I advertise that specific uh, ad. And usually um, I get organic engagement and paid engagement on those who then creates some kind of a, um, um, yeah, it, it creates some kind of an engagement that creates the reach. Uh, Stian, on that one video, I expect for, oh, what's good? let's see. Um, yes, the correct link should be, I'm just clicking it so I, I didn't make a boo-boo. Oh man. Uh, why are you not working? Okay, I'm gonna basically, okay, sorry. Uh, you should use the link I just posted. 
Uh, the offer should work. I already got a lot of people. Yes. So just click the link. Um, so if you if you want to purchase, just click the order now button and you should be able to get the course. I see a lot of people um, already bought the course. So I think it's working, but the winning redirect obviously uh, failed me. Um, although I think it was a funny, a funny thing. Um, okay, then Helen, will Facebook advertisement work for advertising jobs since you don't really sell any product? Yes, Helen, um, I've done this several times, both of, of doing pitches on agencies and selling companies. I then insert the email addresses and phone numbers of the people I want to target. It could be 20 people. And so, for example, you want a job in an advertising agency, I would just go through their, their team list, find all the emails and all the phone numbers, and then I would just uh, advertise directly to them. The link gives a 404. What the hell? Okay, so the offer link is working, right? I see sales coming in, so, but the jabjabacademy.com slash winning obviously didn't work. I tested it on uh, before, but sorry about that. But again, just use this link uh, to make sure uh, you get it. And also, again, you get this super duper special price um, just on this webinar, and you will also get the super duper bonus with the Messenger Bots training. I think it's like 40 minutes of training, uh, also for free. That's um, I'm usually charging uh, almost 100 euros for. Uh, the course, who is it right for? Everything from local plumbers to e-commerce, or any anyone in particular suited for? So no, it, it's very, it's deliberately wide, but it also goes deep. Um, I also go into the course and answer questions people might have under each lesson. So it's it's something that everyone can learn from. And then I, I answer specific questions based on, um, based on the feedback, basically. So if you're wondering how to do more local plumbing uh, customers, you can then ask. But I think if you're doing e-commerce, if you're an agency, if you're selling something, uh, you will get much, much show value out of this. And also remember it's a 14 day money back guarantee. So if you're not happy with the course, I will refund you the money. No questions asked. So I'm just super duper. Uh, I, I know you are, are going to love this. Um, Eivin, is it realistic to get 10 times to spend money in revenue? Yes, I have several campaigns running this very moment, both for my projects and uh, also for customers project that gives 10 times the money. So you put one euro in, you get 10 euros out. And it's it's really fun when that happens. Uh, it, uh, and it just lets you just keep on growing, growing the business, keep on testing and keep on spending more money uh, to a point where um, you you just maximize your revenue. I've actually, I, I've had campaigns that had 20 and 30 times uh, actually the money spent in, in revenue, which is just ridiculously crazy, but uh, it's always fun. And usually you get to those campaigns by doing right targeting to the right people with the right message and you A-B test everything. That is the recipe for for it all. Cool, any more questions, people? Anything you're wondering about? Are you considering buying the course, uh, but haven't decided yet? Now is the time to ask questions or else you're gonna miss out on this amazing opportunity. Again, it's, it's not very much money at all uh, and you get lots of value. It's a Facebook advertising course with many hours of training. I will help you from putting up your Facebook account for the first time to running advanced Facebook campaigns. It's updated monthly with new tips and tricks, new things I learn or new features. So it'll be something you can use um, for a long time. So just let me know uh, if you have any questions. Uh, congratulations to Ellen, to Rua, to Christian, to Lars Eric, to Marius, Kistin, Alf, Nina, Odd Gunnar and everyone else who um, 
who signed up for the course. Uh, Kim, it's around two hours now, and it's just keep on growing month by month by month. Stian, do you think there's a two maximum frequency in consideration with reach impressions? Uh, no, I never stop on two on reach. I stop, uh, no, frequency. I stop at frequency, I stop with four or five. The organic frequency of a post on Facebook, it's 2.4. So your average regular post is seen 2. No, sorry, 1.6 times. So you should at least double that. You should at least have three in frequency before you consider turning anything down, okay? Um, so yeah, I, I, that that's in terms of, of, of uh, frequency. English, I've spent quite a bit of money on Facebook ads, earning a decent amount of money on sales, but never understood what, what I was doing. So this is good and so worth it. I'm so happy you're on board, English. I think that's great. Again, um, I'm a cool guy. So I'm, um, if you're just, if you're still considering in it, I'm just going to keep it open for a few more hours. So you can just jump on and bookmark the link and, and order. Um, if you want to join, looking forward to, to start working closely with, with all of the new students, uh, reaching my goal of, of at least 500, um, abroad, uh, students, uh, to help to succeed. Um, and, um, thank you for watching and, and see you very soon. Bye.